Hello, I'm Claire Bailey. I did my phylum on canidoplastida, which include trypanosomes and botanids. Going into the characteristics, their morphology, all are microscopic. They all contain a single flagellum, which emerge from a flagellar pocket, consisting of a single branched mitochondria, the presence of a glycosome for glycolysis, a cytoskeleton with cortical microtubules and their shape is maintained by a pellicle. For reproduction, all go through asexual reproduction by binary fission, although it is said there is no evidence of sexual reproduction. They also go through intranuclear pleuromitosis, which is where the nucleolus remains and organizes the spindle with centrioles absent. In a monoxenous Trypanosomes, they reproduce in the digestive tract of hosts, arthropods, or annelids. For heterozenous, they reproduce in the blood and organs of vertebrates. Throughout the life cycle, their body changes depending on the phase. For locomotion, most canidoplastids have one leading and one trailing flagella used for movement and attachment. To the right, you can see a botanid. And trypanosomes typically only have one flagellum. This is a comparing chart between the trypanosomes and botanids. On the left, we have trypanosomes with their habitat. They're exclusively parasitic. They occur in the digestive tract of invertebrates and the blood of vertebrates. Their feeding contains proteins that are taken in by food vacuoles through penocytosis at the base of a cytopharynx. Some can ingest by penocytosis from membrane lining the flagellar pocket. Below, I have a picture taken from the textbook on page 121, and this includes all of the organelles in a trypanosome. To the right, we have a botanid. Their habitat is primarily free living in marine and freshwater. Their feeding they eat primarily bacteria with the existence from the anterior flagellum and ingest through a cytosome. Supported by microtubules, food is then ingested in food vacuoles by endocytosis. To the right, I have this diagram also taken from the same page in the textbook.